Hey everybody, Sly here, and today I'm going to be doing another reaction video. This one in particular is titled, Five Creepiest Ghost Photos. And this is recorded, or uh, uploaded by the Old Tough Fives, that's the YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to take a look at the original video. And while you do that, take a look at the channel, it's called the Old Tough Fives. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description down below to take a look at it, and without further ado, Let's react. Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. Put on your headphones and turn off the lights because this time we're going to be looking at what I think are five of the creepiest ghost photos ever taken. Whether you completely believe in the paranormal, or if you're more of a skeptic like me, or you just think it's all nonsense, this top five should still send a shiver down your spine. Especially stay tuned for the final two, they're seriously creepy. This should be interesting. Number 5. The Watcher at Corrobory Rock The older a photo is, the less likely it is to be a forgery, and in the 50s there was very little in the way of photo editing techniques that were clean. That's right. what makes this photograph so intriguing. Taken by a reverend in Ooh. 1959 in Alice Springs, Australia, this picture has baffled experts in photography for decades. If you haven't spotted it yet, there is what looks it's like right a here. person holding yeah. something up to their face that and looks staring like a woman intently. in a wedding dress. Some people suggest that the figure is holding binoculars or a looking glass, but it's a mystery as to what it could be looking at. The reverend who captured this image swears that there were no other people in the area when he was taking the photo, especially not in such plain sight. The particular area in the photo is said to have been a ritual site for Aborigine tribespeople, and ah. while this could explain ghostly activity, it certainly doesn't explain the apparent clothing or the behaviour of this figure. Right. It may well just be a very coincidental trick of the light, with the twigs and the leaves in the background all coming together just right to form what looks like a person, but what do you believe? But it looks... Number four, looks good. the White Lady of Worcester Church. This photograph of Diane oh, Berthelow was perfectly. taken in 1975 by her husband, Peter. They were visiting Worcester Church in Norfolk, UK, when Diane sat down on a pew to have a rest. Peter took a shot of his wife at this point. When they right were here. looking through the photographs months later, they spotted a glowing white figure sitting on the bench behind Diane, looking yep. away from the camera. The couple swears that there was no one sitting there at the time, that especially like no a woman one in bright in white old-fashioned clothing, like in that photo. A year later, the Berthelows went back to Worcester Church and showed their picture to the vicar there. He seemed unsurprised and explained that there were numerous stories of a white lady who sometimes appeared to heal the sick who visited the church. Oh. No one is quite sure of the white lady's identity, but it's agreed that she's a benevolent, caring spirit. This claim is backed up by Diane Berthelow herself, who realised that she had been quite ill for a long time up until that photograph, but then unexplainedly began improving shortly afterwards. Did the white lady heal Diane that day in 1975, or was it just a coincidence and a trick of the light in the photography? I'm afraid again, you'll have to decide for yourself. Yep. Number three, the Coventry Spectre. Now this one's Coventry a spooky Spectre. classic. I remember seeing it in a book I used to have when I was about eight years old. At the Coventry Freeman Organisations event in St. Mary's Guildhall, Coventry, in the UK, the group was praying before sitting down to eat dinner one evening in 1985. Each person was standing silent in prayer, and the photographer captured the whole scene from a balcony. Oh. What wasn't noticed until afterwards was the imposing figure in the top left, which appears to be wearing a heavy monk's robe with a cowl hiding its face and standing in prayer with everyone else. Where? It's a sinister image indeed, especially during such a moment of oh. quiet reflection. That? Experts have stated that this photo right has definitely not been tampered with, and the mayor who attended that the looks dinner like dismissed a, a the unlikely idea that the, someone uh, was there in fancy dress at such a formal occasion, and there Middle were no East, suits uh, of armour or anything uh, like that in the building. So who or what Medieval is the figure time, looming the over everyone the in the corner thing. of the room? Was it an imperfection in the film's or development, like a or alien. did a spectral monk actually appear during prayer when everyone monk. else's eyes were closed? Monk. Don't blink. And Number these are the two, two last ones. The Gripping Ghost. Now this is where things get really creepy. In 2000, two girls were out for a walk one evening in Manila in the Philippines. One right. of them handed their smartphone to a passerby and asked for a photograph when they checked the photo of themselves, this is what they saw. What? How's that for scary? Oh my god! The ghostly apparition tugging on her arm the looks freak? like one of two things, is that? to me at least. 
either it's a woman with her head tilted far to one side, with her entire face invisible. Ugh. Or it's a demonic shape looking into the camera with its mouth wide open in a scream. Oh my god. Now that's that just what freaky. I can see. If you freaky. can see anything different, please let me know in the comments. What's undeniable is the ghostly white hand grasping hold of the girl's arm. This I thought that was her hand! A film, because this is actually a digital photo, but it's definitely possible that the image has been manipulated using computer software. If well, it has yeah. been forged, it's a really good trick, but if it hasn't, and that's truly a ghost trying to hold on to a girl for some reason, it's a really, really scary prospect. Yeah. Definitely frightening enough to hit this top five. So what's number one? Number one, the Queen's House Ghost. Queen's in house 1966, ghost. Reverend Ralph Hardy was visiting the Queen's House in the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich, London. He had heard about the beautiful spiralling tulip staircase and he ventured to get a photograph of it. Despite seeing nothing at the time, the film was developed and the Reverend was shocked to see a figure climbing the stairs. Of course, there had been nobody on the oh, stairs wow. at the time, yeah, and a Kodak official it, who examined the negatives stated that the original negatives hadn't been doctored or, or doubly what, exposed. But... What makes this figure's presence so creepy is the light and dark at play. It melds into the shadows and spills into the light in ghastly ways. Yeah. The upper arm seems to be extended way too far, and the face is completely indistinguishable, as if this being is faceless or doesn't wish to be recognised. Also truly unsettling is its pose. The apparition is clearly Looks in great lunch. distress or anguish, gripping the rail and slumping forward onto it in despair. There have been many reports of ghostly footsteps, figures gliding past, cold spots and slamming doors in the same area of the house as the tulip staircase. Mm. Does this look like a restless, agonised spirit to you? Or a very clever camera That's what trick it looks that like fooled to me. everyone? No one truly knows. I guess not. And that's it from all top fives for this week. Turn the lights back on. Have you ever caught a ghost on camera yourself, or do you know anyone who has? Not me. I would honestly love to see any photos, so if you do have some, please post them in the comments. When you're posting your comments, again, please remember to be respectful and considerate of others' opinions and beliefs. Please give that thumbs up button a click if you enjoyed this video, because it really does help me out. Don't forget you can subscribe for a new video every single Tuesday. Peace and love to each and every one of you, and I will see you all next time on All Top Fives. Good night. Well, there you go. That was uh, the five creepiest ghost photos. I mean, most of them are pretty, I mean, pretty noticeable. But um, the second one, it caught me off guard. And the, the hand, you know, holding, like, the shoulder or the uh, arm in that. I thought it was just one of her friends, just, but I guess not. But if I had to choose which one is my favorite, was probably the third one, the number three. It was, like, everybody was saying in grace, and there was, like, a monk, you know, standing in prayer in that. But, um, but yeah, that was, that was something. Now, I know there's more of these, like, top, um, five, uh, creepiest photos and whatnot. I'm gonna see if they have, like, videos of it in that as well. But, I'll take a look at that next time. So, anyways, if you guys and girls enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button for more videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos to come. So, that's all the time I have for this video. My name is Sly. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy me reacting to five creepiest ghost photos. And until next time, sleep tight.